Recording. What's good? You guys it was see good. Oh, I thought I thought you guys were gonna like not speak. <laughs> hey, like, I thought I'm you guys <laughs> I thought you guys were gonna protest against me here. Nah, I'm I'm good, dude. All right, uh, welcome everybody to the annual pod, one of the annual podcasts. What what is this? I don't want to make this the Black Lives Matter podcast. Yeah, you better. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't know if I want to make it the annual racism podcast because right now I can't really joke about that shit, man. No, yeah, you, I really don't think you should. Fuck it then. What, what am I supposed to do? The annual diversity podcast? Diversity. Mm, maybe. Fucking the annual. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. I don't know what the fuck. The annual something. We need a name, dude. For this. The podcast. annual, annual podcast. I already planned that. The annual African American podcast. Fuck. That's, <laughs> that's Yo, I, give us some, give us some like you know tips what? here, man. Oh, um, the annual every year podcast. Annual <laughs> every year podcast. <laughs> fuck, fuck it, we'll do annual racism podcast. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. I mean, we have to oh, talk. Okay. We have to talk about this because uh, I do have that one video. Can you guys see the old messages on Discord, or you can only see the new ones? The old one, um, the XL. XL. You can see the video up, like the first thing. Yeah, yeah, that one. The J and J vlog, is it? Yeah, we have to talk that about that weird, shit. Bro. I just watched it. Um, Hundreds of people get on the ground and renounce their white dot dot dot. Let me watch this um, shit. This actually, this actually is that a way I can? Thing. I'll just insert it in the fucking post. I'll just add it in the post. So you guys, <laughs> get all these white people, man. Uh, are you watching it, Jinrin? I'm watching it right now. Um, it's just 30 I seconds. I actually don't believe white privilege is a thing, you know? Um, I don't believe it's real. Oh, I can't play it. What the fuck? Discord's screwing me over. Uh, so like, they're just so denouncing the fact that you're white now? About racism I think so. I think... Blackness How does that solve anything? All right, wait, wait. Let me just... It's let not... me restate the video here. About racism, uh, anti-blackness, So that's violence. like a bunch of... Black... That's a, at least a thousand people. Old people, young people. Like, I I get the sentiment, but that doesn't like. I don't I don't get what that achieves. Yeah. Maybe I'm just mean, ignorant to like the the the, the, um, the culture that goes oh, on there. Nah, but, like, dude. Nah, this is wrong, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I get like the idea of like, you know, oh, you going out to protest, you know, like, joining the protest and shit like that. But like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm a white guy. I'm gonna stand in the front and protect my fellow these, black dudes and all that kind of shit. But this is just like, dude. These What's motherfuckers, the they doing this for themselves, dude. These fuckers are doing this for themselves. <laughs> I'm no longer white. I'm not part of the problem anymore. I am colorless. <laughs> like the shit that the shit that's weird to me is that. Uh, let me see. I will love my black yeah. neighbors the same as my white. I will love my black neighbors the same as I love my white neighbors, white ones. What like, exactly haven't you already person? been doing that, bro? Are you hmm. telling me you're not been doing that, bro? <laughs> that implies things that shouldn't be implied. Here's, here's my problem with this, right? It's fine if it's just fun, fucking silly goose time, right? If it's funny, if it's it's I fine if it's, it's just fucking. I doubt it's that, dude. Pro, it's if it if they did this like last month, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But right now, the the problem is not white people. The problem that the people are protesting. For the problem that is the you know the police brutality bullshit because it's real. When people do this shit, it's like it's diverting the fucking blame. It's like you're you're pushing the solution away. It's the white men's fault. It's white man's fault. <laughs> it, you're, what they're doing essentially is trying to like clean themselves of guilt or anything like that, which yeah. they really shouldn't. Like yes, okay, I've seen like a bunch of like uh, people. Uh, coming out saying like oh yeah white privilege is real and then some people say use your privilege as a weapon to uh, promote anti-racism and all that then that's a good idea that's a great idea actually you know and all that kind of shit but like what what, what does this solve anything yeah i think <laughs> the point is that people are outraged and they're trying to spread the word but the problem is they're not looking for a solution people protesters are looking for a solution but a lot of people are not like people posting shit and shit. They're trying to spread awareness. I get it, but you know how close are we to a solution? And you have a lot of this problem where people are just like, don't even get the point. You know what I'm saying? 
hundreds of white people get on the ground and renounce their white. Wait, wait let me, let me, what's, what's the full title of this? Wait, put this shit up. I but ever since these like riots started, what has changed? I don't think anything has changed. I mean, the cops were arrested. Yeah. But oh, like, renouncing white privilege has oh, okay. changed. Nothing else. Uh, so far, uh, nothing obvious has changed, I guess. But there is potential change coming up. You saw what Trump did, right? What do you do? Oh man, this is the most political shit. <laughs> no, he <laughs> he uh, ordered like, hey, I, you sent me that video. Which one? The uh, Trump. The Trump video you sent me. Bruh. The one okay, wait, wait. I, I feel like we preface this by saying two out of the three people in this call are not American. So no. we are... <laughs> no, no. We're just, we're just three nobodies saying nothing. That's what we are. We're, just we're clearly nobodies. saying something. Uh, no, we're saying <laughs> nothing. Mean, we're saying nothing, bro. The video we're, is we're saying... commenting on the situation. That means we are saying something. <laughs> All right, so the video was like Trump ordering troops to clear out the park because you know why he cleared out yes. the park? Oh, he was trying to take a photo shoot, wasn't it? Yeah, that was so. Oh, like a Bible and everything. Oh, that one. Oh, God. And like the tear gas and shit like that. Yeah, dude, I am uh, so grateful for fucking mobile phones and just cameras on phones. Because if none of this shit like recorded, none of us would know about this stuff, dude. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was still spread like through word of mouth, but like. In, among the community, yeah, people know that, but like outside the world, no, no one really like know that. Yeah, truly. But, yeah, when you capture injustice like that, like unreasonable, just being unreasonable. You guys watched Rising of the Shield Hero? Oh, really? No. Yeah. Because that that I show have. that show does a great job of like highlighting injustice. Like, for real, the first episode, what that redhead bitch did to um Nakami. Yeah. She was wrong. I, I would expect then, generally really no. I, I'm so well, I, I read it. I read it. I didn't watch it. Yeah, I know the you, story. Yeah, you know you've yeah you've read the manga. Yeah, that basically like in that show, like the even like the first episode, you have like this very like injustice, being like served. Like, I was genuinely pissed, like in that first step. <laughs> I mean, I kind of got numb to that kind of shit because you know a lot of mangas are like that. A lot of, like uh, Christians, right? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, what the, what's that about? Yo, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Rewind that shit. Hold the fuck up. No, I'm saying like, <laughs> that's, that's they're people, right? When they believe you're wrong, they don't give a shit about evidence, dude. Oh, uh, like, yeah, okay, yeah. Like, get, if they yeah, believe yeah, you're yeah. wrong, they're like, 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 for example, right? Like a cop pulls up on a black guy and he starts like shouting at him, put your hands in the air, you know, like, like that shit. And he's, the guy literally did nothing, you know? And he's like, dude, yeah. I didn't do anything. And then, bam, he gets charged with resisted arrest when in reality he did fucking nothing. That's the kind of uh, injustice, outrage shit that just fucks people up. And that's the problem people are protesting against. But these fuckers posting hashtag and racism, hey, asshole, you're, you're pushing the solution away. You're, you, you, you know, you're pushing the solution away. But since you're like speaking about police brutality, um, I saw a stat on Instagram a few days ago saying like for every 10,000 black people three are killed by police brutality but for every 10,000 white people four are killed so like I'm wondering like yeah what? you're wondering <laughs> <laughs> where are you wondering, going I, with that I had a brain for I don't know so no but for um black lives matter right do black lives only matter when white people kill them when white people kill black people, why is it not when black people kill black people? Man, I know you're black and all that, but I feel like you have some controversial opinions, man. Yo, <laughs> yeah, Jesus, what? The... Wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm, you're kind of losing me there a little bit. Like, what, what, what the fuck are you going on about? No, I know he's saying that the what? ratio of white to black people is like the ratio of people getting killed, like the color, don't really mm -hmm. matter because more white people are getting killed by like police brutality. Is what he's trying to say. But I think the white people are protesting about is just that police are intentionally targeting black people and intentionally being being uh, unjust against them. Because uh, remember that's now I told you how like if they have they believe you're wrong, they don't give a shit about evidence. They just want to they just want to get you, you know? Yeah, mob mentality kind of kind of deal. Yeah. And that's that's really kind of sad like what's going on there in terms of that. Cuz that is real though. 
that people get targeted just because they're black. Like if a police sees like a black dude driving a Maserati or some shit, you know? They yeah, they'll, 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 they'll probably pull him over and ask him, like, hey, can I see your driver's like, uh, your license and all that? You know, a lot of, a lot of uh, burgers, bur- burglars been going on, a lot of thefts have been going on. So yeah, you're bur- black burgers. and everything. Burgers, burgers. yes, burgers <laughs> been thrown about. You know, you have been pulled- your chance of meatball, raining you- burgers from the sky. Ayub, you've been pulled up. I actually haven't. Really? I have not. No. Because yeah, you, you got the nice ass neighborhood, dude. <laughs> no, I mean not not in America. Also, like, because uh, this I don't know if you said I don't know if this is true, but oh, he, he muted himself. Wait, he he deafened himself. I hope he can hear me because that's this thing where he freaking he probably sneezed, didn't he? Are you sn- What's no? All right, but you sound like you're about to sneeze. There, look, you said you threw yourself in front of cars, right? You hold up, what you what now? Wait, what? Like in Egypt. Ah, yeah, I used to plank in like highways. <laughs> Man, the police yeah. should be pulling you up, dude. The police should be pulling you up. You can't oh, throw no yourself police. in the fucking highway, dude. What are we doing that for? Are you depressed or something? What the fuck was that? <laughs> no, it's Take Egypt. me away. It's just there's Egypt. Thing where um basically like there's no traffic lights, right? So <laughs> that doesn't mean like, you gotta maybe... 20 seconds or 30 seconds of there's like in the highway or a big ass street that there's no cars coming through so like <laughs> we usually plank and when the cars get real close we used to jump and run away <laughs> it's like a sport kind of my god dude that's... <laughs> <laughs> who came up with this or is and this you... some this like part of culture there and you're telling me police never that's pulled you up <laughs> no no, they'd be sleeping in I Egypt. Like the police in Egypt are they as don't. consistent as like the police in Malaysia. I have barely like maybe I've been in Malaysia for like six years, right? I've seen the police maybe a handful of times. Yo, I've been pulled out by the like, cop once. Have you? Oh shit! Yeah, I was uh, actually it's near it's near the uni. Oh shit! Yeah, he pulled. You do? I was just walking to uni, you know, by the San Rupertur Mall. Uh-huh. Cop cop came over, and he freaking took a picture with me. And then he got back in his car and left. Dude, wow. you're that what? dude. You're that YouTuber dashboard, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm not. I should you not. The cop came up to me. He took a picture with me. I don't know if it's like some kind of diversity bullshit or something where you have to take picture with like a, like a, you know. But I don't know. He pulled pulled me over, took a picture with me. And I shook his hand. I'm like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, I need this for my like, like uh, portfolio, portfolio. And I'm like, oh jeez, okay. No, but that's a true story. I got pulled up by a cop. What not, fuck? yeah, like not. Well, not this even... was like a positive intention, at least. You know? Yeah, it's not police brutality. It's like the polar opposite. But let's. let's... I, I was having this conversation with my dad this morning about like you know the the, the rights going on in like America and shit like that, and I was wondering because Malaysia is also very really like um, it's, it's a it's a large amount of like ethnicities in Malaysia as well. Yeah, and yet we somehow coexist fairly decently. There's no like extreme racism to the point of like say in america of like it's like whites yeah, against blacks and shit like that. except for you know the the bangladeshis and and filipinos and myanmar's uh, yeah, that's yeah true. and like the yeah. malaysians dude the actual malaysians i mean within malaysia like within the three main races itself there's little little to no tension between them well, there is a, to, like, it's like well like my, my dad said it's more like political tension between the between them but like, in terms yeah. of like you no know, actually actual everyday interaction we're, we're, we're pretty chill with one another and all that yeah we are pretty chill we don't like except for you know the bangladeshi situation which yeah that's kind of that's kind of we pretty yeah. much just look at them as worker people we don't look at them as normal people we just think oh he's probably just like a worker guy you know yeah it's a real situation i think that we shouldn't really that's this a controversial thing here i think but we don't really like to talk about that shit we do have racism. We just don't like to talk about it. <laughs> I think yeah. they deserve rights, man. I think they deserve like a lot of them get pulled up by cop too. A lot of them like targeted by cops because you know they don't have like papers. They don't have like uh, valid documents, which is a like, you know some of the case. A lot of the case, I think, may be like true where they don't have valid documents. So you know they like targeted. They're like the the Mexicans of our of like of our country. <laughs> Immig- immigrants, yeah, immigrants. Yeah, the immigrant Mexicans. Yeah. yeah, they get pulled up for like documents. 
because yeah, a lot of them do come here like illegally, but still, I feel like it's like trying to make a living. Yeah, humanitarian problem. You should I should I should I read out the George Floyd thing? I think I Jeff, you should say something. What? You you've been kind of quiet, man. He deserved it. I mean, um. Oh, dude! Whoa. Okay. Okay. We're cutting that out. We're cutting that out. All right. So you guys know why the story is about the George Floyd story? Uh, he got pulled up, and then, like the this what this guy named I forgot. I, I know his last name is Shelvin. Like he's kneeled on his neck for like eight minutes and forty six seconds or some shit. Or seven yeah, minutes. Do you guys know why he got pulled up? Because he was black. No. no because all right. Check this out. Yeah. On May twenty fifth, twenty twenty. Oh wow, it's twenty twenty. Would you look Not at sure. that? Floyd was arrested for passing a counterfeit bill, twenty dollar bill, at a grocery store in Minneapolis. He got fucking cop. Some bastard called him. Called police over a twenty dollar bill. This whole thing, over a twenty dollar bill, bro. He died after Derek uh, Chauvin, a white police officer, pressed uh, his knee to Floyd's neck. For almost nine minutes during the arrest, Floyd was handcuffed face down in the street with, while two other officers further restrained Floyd and a fourth pretend, uh, prevented onlookers from intervening. For the last three of those minutes, Floyd was motionless and had no pulse, uh, but officers made no attempt to revive him. Chauvin kept his knee on Floyd's neck as arriving emergency medical technicians attempt to treat him. The official autopsy found Floyd died of cardiac arrest caused by restraint. At the time of his death, he was under the influence of fentanyl and methamphetamine in his system. This is obviously like probably old news because I don't think that's valid. The second autopsy commissioned by Floyd's family found that the evidence is consistent with me uh, mechanical asphyxia, the cause of death with neck compression, restricting blood flow to the brain. And back compression, restricting breathing. That's it. You guys? It was a murder, basically. Yeah, he... The second autopsy revealed that it was the knee. <laughs> so well, here's the thing. The knee, yeah, now, here's the fucked up thing. If, if this wasn't on camera, dude, guess what's going to be the thing? Guess what's going to be the thing? It's going to be he, he died of a cardiac arrest and he had methamphetamine in his system. Like... If this, they or like had. He attacked the cops. He didn't something. though. He didn't attack no, the cops. If, if it wasn't. Oh like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'd cops. be like, he died because he was on meth and and he had a heart attack. Like that's so bullshit. Like I can't believe that kind of cover up like, fucking holds up like that. Like that's what they're protesting against. I hate how these people are protesting like and racism. Hey, you're not helping. We're here to talk about how this is so unfair against like black people. Not, it's not necessarily like a racism. It's a systemic thing. We have to like, if we have a problem. We have to solve it. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. guys, you guys good. You guys haven't been. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to process it. All right, we'll have ten seconds to process this. We'll let ten the, seconds. We'll let the <laughs> we'll, we'll let the listeners kind of hold their peace for a second here. Let's process this. So, how you how you feel about this? Oh, he's muted. Um, I honestly think no, nah, how someone was talking. To me. I honestly think, like, I don't like. I don't know how to think about that. Cause I don't feel like it'll end anytime soon. No matter like all these riots and all that racism, I feel like it's something that's never gonna end. Cause there's always gonna be messed up people out there. Mm -hmm. But like, I feel like as a community, as, as like just normal people, we should like look at everybody as like not less of you. And maybe that'll help out, you know, teach your children, teach your neighbors. Hey, don't be racist, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop that. No money for you. No allowance. Yeah, stop racism. Shit, nigga. <laughs> Slap them. I think we don't have that problem that here because we. You know, we practice like quite good diversity here. Like, a, yeah, our country is built on like um, community Forced. of sorts. Yeah, for like, the, the country was like count, uh, founded like by like, three like people of like different ethnicities. So, like the sense of community and like um, like neighborliness was already there from the beginning. So that kind of helped, you know, curb stomp the racism levels of sorts yeah, early I mean, on. We kind of solved like the level one racism. We still have shit ton of like. 
bias us against like Bangladeshis and all that shit. No, in no way we are like un racist or you know we're not like well, I, exemplary. Um, I, during my dad's like when he was growing up, mm-hmm. there was a lot of like tension because um we were just talking about this this morning. Um I think it was like 1969, I think. May 13th. It was like a oh, May 13th. 16. It's only 13. I can't remember what what my but, like the yeah. exact date what my dad said. but yeah like um that was when like uh but, yeah it's thirteen yeah um, no Malay and Chinese the, yeah yeah I'm my dad that. was like hiding in school because he was uh like the like rumors that like some Malay people come and come to beat up people oh no Chinese that was people. there were a shit ton of slashing that was blood on the street dude for real that was blood on the street yeah I think uh. So, like, my dad did experience not he didn't get he just saw like this like blood on the street and everything it's it was wild yeah yeah but like, i think we've like mostly moved on past that we're like a fairly stable state at this point yeah except we do have quite quite the number of extremists like with very dangerous beliefs here and there yeah but they're, yeah. they're a lot minor degree comparatively yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely things are... I mean, I think as a society, as a whole, we've moved on. Yeah, we're really, we're really like, you know, friendly with one another. You see people, like, hanging out with one another. Yeah, we are, more, we are more sensitive. We are more sensitive now, which is a good yeah. thing. But let's... Uh, back to, like, the protest shit. Now, that is a problem, right? And problems need solutions. Right? Right. Yes. Like, what I don't get is, like, a lot of these people, they're trying to, like, I don't know. I just, I just don't like people, like, posting shit, like, without, like, you, I know you're not, like, you're not really contributing. Like, people who post, like, the black photo, like, nothing else. You know, you uh, guys know that shit? Yeah, like, yeah, I don't but, s- Yeah. I don't see how oh, What else can they do? Join the like, protest? Maybe like no protests going on in their area or something I f- like that. I feel like what's going on, like what's happened, is really counterintuitive because the we had the problem. We knew that what the problem was. The problem was police and the cover ups and all this shit. But then we have people like the video I sent you. We repent for our white privilege. Hey bitch. This isn't about that. You're you're diverting the problem. You're really not helping. We have a problem and we want to solve it. If you make it a general if you generalize it we're then we're not going to solve it. Just like how all lives matter, it's a generalization and it doesn't help. Just like how people don't like parade cancer awareness. You don't parade uh, like, you know, it's always like either breast cancer or like it's specific because you want, you can't really generalize it like that. Yeah, it kind of waters down like the solution, all that kind of muddies the waters a bit, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you, you're pushing the solution further away. Hashtag end racism. I'm going to post this. Yeah, you're not ending racism. You're really not that... I mean, I guess, you know, the more awareness uh, something gets, then the more closer you might be to a solution. But to me, that's like burning the forest to get one guy. <laughs> you know, it's like, sure, like you want to get the solution that way, sure. but I get the sentiment of what they're trying to do, but I guess their heart's in the wrong area. Yeah, I mean, it's always about what do we do, right? Yeah. What do we do? How do we solve this problem? And, and racism. Yeah, that's not that's how you. Exactly the main issue that's here. It's just that is like... such like a ridiculous like. You you just push the solution further away. Congratulations. I mean, okay, not not to discredit the whole idea of end, ending racism. That's a great cause. That's a great thing, and all that. But that's not the that that shouldn't really be the main focus at, at this. Oh, I mean, it's okay. You see. I don't okay. know. You know, See, what on one hand, is... like I, 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 trying to end racism is great, but like, but if I if I would just say like, oh, but that shouldn't be the focus at the moment, but that's kind of like you know, also like not really a great thing to say because racism is a big issue, man. It's also it's also a contributing factor. Of oh, this, you know, like, you know what it is. Dude? You know what my problem is? Is people what? oppose that and they think that is a solution. That is my problem. Like people oppose that shit. This is my solution. I'm gonna post hashtag and racism, and d- there we go. Problem solved. I ended it. Look at me. I ended the racism. I did my part. I solved the problem. It's kind of a kiddie way to look at it, really. I think it just like one person can't think of a solution. I guess they're just oh, trying to oh, so just yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Solutions are fucking hard, dude. <laughs> so I, I guess it's just like them showing support. Like, yeah, you know, I am with you. I, I I believe in this support and all that. You know, showing yeah. to the public, like, yes, I support this cause and all that. Because yeah. there's not much one man can do. It's like, it has to be a collective thing, and no, oh, it, that's supporting a lot. it. It's just like it's, it's a part of it. You know? That's guess. a lot one man can do, man. Have you seen Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he has power. He has like definitive power. Yeah, powerful you know? people. One powerful people can can do a lot. That's true. Yeah. I mean, it's usually yeah, it yeah, starts. Yeah. It starts with one man, dude. It start. It always starts with one yeah, man. Yeah, true, Look at true. fucking the coronavirus. It started with one guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's always one guy. And if you're listening and you're that guy or woman, I mean, I use guy in a gender neutral way. I guess you know whatever. I call all my friends guy anyway, right? Sometimes. But if you're that person, dude, you you know, you could be. You may be that one guy. You could, you could be. You know? You never know. You could have the solution in your hands. Or you could have another virus, you know, who knows. You know. Are you... I don't know. Like, honestly speaking, I just... I just kind of... I, I, I don't really want to be involved in this. I just kind of want to watch it burn down. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I just let, like, just, like, see what happens in the end. You know? Yeah. I, let's, let's watch it play out. I mean, because in the end of the day, there's nothing we can do. Like, we're yeah, just... it's, it's, really, it's really not much we can do, especially because we're like halfway across the world. We're just three nobodies. Yeah. Same well, then again, you see, yeah. you just said, oh, you know, like anyone can do anything, right? You know, anyone can start something. But then yes. you, then you're, you're countering that by saying, oh, no, but we're just three nobodies. Yeah, it's. Like, it's I get. I get. It's a bit of a paradox because you have like 7.8 billion people, you know. And you're you're dealing with such a large sample size, like, like what is one uh, one out of seven point eight billion? Like that's a big odd. Like literally, we're dealing with like a really big paradox. Yeah. Mm. It's it's. I know. It's confusing times we yeah. live in. Are you how are you doing? I'm doing great, dude. Uh, Speaking wait, of crimes, uh, are you, you guys get GTA Five? G- yeah, I did. I did get GTA ah, Five. I think did maybe Jinren probably already bought it before. I didn't buy it. Never did. Oh, you didn't? Did you get it for free? I got it for free. I got it for free. Uh, you guys want to play sometimes? I, I play Valorant, man. I what? haven't downloaded it. Uh, Dude, I, you're, it's so big. You're still, in, fucking... you're still in US, uh, right? Yeah. So you're in the United States of America? Indeed, yes. More like the not United States of America. <laughs> got him. Got him. The divided States of America? So no, the non United. <laughs> Thank you, folks, for listening, dude. Leave a like for that joke, man. That that's a. You know, you watch a YouTube video. No, 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 don't leave a like for that joke. That was a terrible joke. You know, you watch a YouTube. I've I've done this once. I watch a YouTube video. I'm like, fuck, they got me. I'm gonna leave a like. Oh my god! I just realized the like to dislike ratio on this video twenty seven oh, really? to seventy nine. Holy shit! Why would they dislike that video? Because that guy posting is not. Oh, he might be. He not. He's a repost. About. And I guess I just like to show like their like this contempt towards it. You know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a stupid cause. Because if you like it, you're showing support for what they're doing in the video. If you dislike it, then you're showing discontent towards yeah. it. Yeah, these like, people. Why are you doing that? These fuckers are probably in LA, dude. Only shit. Only LA has this shit. Yeah, it's so fucking. It's so disturbing, really. I don't know what to say about that video. It's so disturbing. We repent for our whiteness. It's like a new cult, anti-whiteness. That's anti- not. Yeah, like I, I hate being white. I want to kill myself. That, I feel like a lot of people have that, that dangerous kind of mindset. White guilt now at this point feels yeah. like it. Yeah, Should I be not... saying that? I feel, I feel like say, saying the word white guilt is like a, it's like a big no-no. Some shit. I don't even know what fully what know what white guilt means in the first place. I don't think you should censor yourself. Okay. You know, because there's people like, can I say black? Is it okay if I say black as a white woman? Is it okay if I say black? Like, dude. That's the disadvantage that we have being more sensitive as a society, I guess. Yeah. That's all these that's all these extremes, man. People should have thicker skin, dude. Yeah, but you wanna find a good balance, dude. You know what I'm saying? You guys good? I'm good, I'm, I'm good. Great. I think we should change the topic. Wait, let's Fuck racism, bro. And let's uh, let's do it right now, all together. Let's do a hashtag end racism, and that's our solution to this problem. <laughs> you guys ready? Spent, 
15, 15 minutes of shitting on the whole idea of like and racism and all that shit. Yeah. And then, oh. and then now, and racism. Yeah, and racism. All right. No, that's, the only thing that can help us is the four cardinal heroes. The four cardinal heroes. You know, oh, 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 that, what, that's what we should talk about. Trash. You know? And mm-hmm. I guess my point is that do you guys think people like that with like a strong belief, do you guys think that they have a potential to change? Like a person with really strong belief. Uh, it's hard, isn't it? I feel like everyone should have a second chance, you know? Yeah, but some people are really hard to change, you know? Yeah, I mean, and then they, it's human, you know? But yeah, there, yeah. I, I guess there's a point, Jesus, there's a point where in time where, like, you know, you cross a line and you can't go back on and you have to, like, pay for your sins and shit like that. You pay for, like, like karma. So it's, it's a, I don't know, it's a balancing act, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I personally believe that everybody has the capacity to change. Like, if you believe that, like, for example, let me take this to extreme. You believe that you need to kill off, like, an ethnic, which is a common theme in this planet. <laughs> you need to kill off, like, a whole ethnic, and you believe that they are not worthy to be on this land. A fucking common uh, occurrence in Southeast Asia. Hashtag religion. <laughs> Ethics, <laughs> like you, I wish it's easy to just tell them, "Hey, what you believe in is not r- true. It's not. It's not. It's not good." You know, these people are people too. You know, but it's so hard because they believe in what they believe, and they don't want anything to like shake that belief. You know what I'm saying? You can't win with these people. Is one of the common sayings. You really can't win with these people. Yeah. yeah, that's why I think people should be like more open-minded to like others like perspective. The world would be so much like of a better place if everybody was like that. Sensitive? But not everybody like that. Like, like sensitive? No, well, like op- more open-minded like to actually like consider the person's perspective and all that. I feel like, yeah, the world would be a better place, I feel like. But not but it's like that, you know? Also, dude, you guys, since the con... Oh, yeah. One thing I want to talk about is the freaking... You guys seen this post where... Like, this sentiment where if you're not, like, speaking out or if you're being, like, quiet about the situation, you're being centrist about, like, the George Floyd situation, you are part of the oppressor. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, yeah I heard about that. I was like, it's like... Mm. I feel like to me that's also like pushing the solution further away, because we already know what the problem is. We know who the oppressors are. It's the, you know, the system. the 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 lawyer who freaking made that claim, he probably did a lot of police's like cover ups. You know, we know who the problem are. If you're saying like you, if you're t- uh, broadening your target, like you're not gonna hit the fucking solution. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's, it's, uh, what they're trying to get to is like a call to arms of some sort. You know, everyone should be part of this, and you're not. You know, you just being complacent, and that that's like part of the issue. As My well. problem is that people just miss the point. You know, like no, I, I think the incentive, like saying like, oh, you know, those who don't speak up, those who like don't don't want to comment, is like being part of the problem. Is like saying like, oh, you know, if there's not enough, like if 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 you just keep quiet about it. And others want to keep quiet about it, and there's not enough people like talking about it, and becomes and just gets washed away again. Basically, what they're trying to say: if you're being ignorant, you're disgusting, right? No, I'm not saying disgusting. It's just like, I just I don't, I don't know, man. I, I get where they're coming from, but it's a bit like, a bit too aggressive, in my opinion. Like, I just want to stay neutral. Like, okay, not saying say neutral because being I, I don't want to be neutral in this. I have like my own clear opinions of like what the situation's about and all that, but. I, I don't want to be involved in the, the, the shit that's going on. Like, like, I, like, I feel like that sentiment has a huge, like, bite you in the ass. Because here's the thing. The world is a huge place, right? And if you have that kind of, if you're ignorant, you're part of the problem, guess what, dude? You are much more of a disgusting animal than I am. Because if you just Google, right? Let's say now I Google Congo and I hit news. Guess what's the first thing that pop up? 1,300 civilians killed in uh, Democratic Republic Congo violence. Half a million flee. Like, are these people's life not as much, you know? Are they like, ah, fuck it. Not all black lives matter. You okay. know, like, like, if you're talking... <laughs> like, yeah. Ig- okay. If you want to play the ignorance card, don't use it against me is what I'm trying to say. Like, 
I'm ignorant because there's a lot of pain in the world. And if I start like paying attention to it, I'm going to fucking kill myself. You know what I'm saying? That's so the so same sentiment goes like if you if you keep ignoring it and you're just letting it go on, you know, you're not speaking up against it, you know, like like trying to stop it. And so I, I get where they're coming from. But at the same time, I also understand why people want to like, like distance themselves away from these issues. It's a, it's just like a double edged like uh, issue here at this point. Yeah, you, know? Ayub, you get me, dude. Ayub's not. Ayub's gone I again. It's like that's this double standard almost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. And also, well, Africa back spasms. Back spasms. Yeah, I'm in pain, bro. Back spasms. <laughs> uh, no problem. <laughs> The back dude. Are you, are you getting like a what you call that thing? Uh, fucking, I don't know what they call that thing. What scoliosis. You, yeah, multiple scoliosis. Are you getting a cramp no, in your back muscles? Is what I'm trying to. Ask. I scared you. Yeah, I feel like I don't know, man. It's, it is what it is. I'll, I'll get better soon, man. Yeah, you should. We should I probably. Heard yeah, but I don't know what if my point is valid too, because you know, I guess fucking. I feel like I feel like people, like, the people saying, "Oh, those who are like ignoring or like you know, try, choosing to be like, like choosing to ignore the situation is like part of the problem." I get where they're coming from, and at the same time, I also understand why people want to ignore the situation. You know, people don't want to handle that shit. People don't want to deal with that shit. They have their own issues. They have like, oh, you know, there are other like bigger issues on the world, and like this is just like a like a minor thing. But then, at the same time, if you, if you if you and you you can't keep like you can't split your attention to all everything all at once, you know. But at the same time, you know, people want people want like um like support and all that. People like people expect people expect people to be like like supportive. So, oh, oh, fucking no, dude. Uh, I was expecting to be like talking about this shit so in depth and all that. I'm so. fucking guilty of being like ignorant because I think a lot of us are freaking guilty of being ignorant. Because we know they are freaking like people are dying unrightfully. We know people are being treated unjustly. I mean, I don't know. If we know that. I know that. And I, yeah. I you muted, bro. I you watched that. I you posted a TikTok. I have to kick him. He posted a TikTok on my server. <laughs> what is this TikTok? Go, 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 go. I uh, you guys there? What am I watching? I mean, he's got moves. <laughs> but let's leave it on that. You know what? You got you got some really weird TikToks. Send it over, dude. We'll fucking use it for the podcast. But so I've been like. I've been wondering where the fuck all these like TikToks keep randomly popping up in my gallery. Again, and I, again, I find it's just like it's it's, it's it's from you guys in your fucking WhatsApp group. No, it's, like, <laughs> are you, are you, it's not you guys. Don't fucking group me in with that monster. Oh whoa whoa! <laughs> Shit. Racist here? Yeah, huh? Calling out you a black man a monster? Hmm? What's this? I'm calling all TikTokers monsters, dude. All fucking TikTokers. <laughs> Then again, I, I kind of take that back because TikTok has done some good shit. The same okay. reason how like more cameras equals more injustice being surfaced, and TikTok is a part of that, like helping bring shit to the light and crap. I give TikTok some credit, but I'm not fucking joining them. Fucking Chinese bullshit. Oh, what happened to racism? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, China's. I mean, I feel like we all can agree that you know maybe China is a little different thing. Okay, we can we can poke with a stick. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying Chinese people. I'm saying like the China government, you know. Yeah, like, okay, there we go. like it's not like a racist China thing. That's another TikTok. That's another TikTok. Excuse me, excuse me. You right up. Excuse- Fuck you. You do the whole mouth punk ass, stinking ass feet, big black ass, big turkey wing eating neck. Are you? You've been you've been kind of quiet. Are you like showering right now? Because I know you always like to shower in Discord calls. Fuck what? Oh, I usually like video calls people, but like. I can't do it now because like you know how the and shower is outside. Like it's not outside, but it's just like no tub. Yeah, yeah. It's really easy like to talk in the middle of a call, like call people. But like now it's harder, you know, because shower head, all that. You know? Yeah, yeah, I get you. I totally get you, man. Are you, did you uh, Jinrin, Did you get him? No, I didn't get him too. 
<laughs> in, in my old days of showering, I had to hold the hose. Like, I had to hold the hose, like, physically hold it and, like, wash myself. But now the shower head's on the wall, so, like, I can't move it. So it's harder for me to video call without getting my phone wet. Let's get, let's get a, a plastic bag over your phone. You see? Yo, yo, yo. Just, just to be clear, dude. I think what you're saying is you're saying that here in Malaysia, we use hose to wash ourselves. Yeah. We don't it's use hose, dude. Kind of racist, man. It's kind of racist. <laughs> no, well, I, 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 I did. Yeah, you did. But not, I mean, yeah, you did in Malaysia, but that doesn't mean, you know, Malaysians use a hose. I'm pretty sure some of us do, but I don't use a hose. That's more like the rule of just with the older houses that do that. Yeah, I mean, wait, do you use like a shower head? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, the thing is, I actually had a shower head and that was connected to the wall, but like it broke off. So like I told it, it wouldn't fit. Yeah, uh, you guys can. Right. So, Jinra, are you in the fucking uh, PC Discord? I mean, I wish. Yeah, you I'm, I'm, PC, I'm on PC. You can video chat and do it. I even got more disc, uh, TikToks. Actually, I don't want to send you. Are you? I was, I was being quiet because he, everybody is sleeping right now. Is that right? Yeah. All right. You know what? We should focus on like good messages right now. Like, I, what's a good message, man? Whis <laughs> um, whisper it. What good message? But I, I don't know. I have to boost your audio a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. You know, be nice to um, your neighbors, all that bullshit. All that bullshit. Yeah, you know do that. Yeah, yeah, be nice. Speaking of being nice to your neighbor, when's the last time you guys even talked to your neighbor? Like, that's not a thing we do. Never. I don't, I don't think I have. That's the kind of thing we just left behind as a society. Like, yeah, neighbors, all this shit. Right? Yeah. Well, when I was in Malaysia, I had a few neighbors that I knew. And then you fucked him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like your fucking pause there. <laughs> uh, uh, General, are you breathing heavy? Are you are you reading hentai right now? I was just like, what the fuck? Did you just. <laughs> what did you. <laughs> I heard some keyboard clacking. I'm like, man, he's going to fucking go. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you other people. But are you... Come on. Yeah. You have, you have one minute. Come up with a good message. Um, don't yeah. ask. What? What? <laughs> What's a good message, dude? Yeah. Um. Don't let it right? That's talk. Sure, there we go. I'm, I'm like in the dark, so you guys probably won't see me. I can't see myself. What the hell? Okay, you, can, you can see hey, me, right? Video is loading. Yeah, it's keep, video it's low. It's not loading though. It's like spinning. It's not loading. What the fuck? Hold on, let me try. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, that's Ayu. Dude, why is mine not working? Try turning it on off. Let's see where it works. Uh, let's see. Man, fuck Discord, dude. How come it worked just now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm different now, dude. I'm different now. I got me some like long ass All hair. Dude. Up ones. Look at this. I got like long ass hair. Yeah, your hair is really long. Yeah, I could like I could have, like a fucking Japanese ponytail and shit. Like Yakuza. Yo, Discord is being racist against me. It's not turning on my camera. Yo. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna. I'm just gonna be like this, spinning. It's not gonna work. All right, look. I understand. We live in a time where almost everything is is uh, how do I put this? Shit. Right. That's a nice way to put it. We live in shit times. You got the yes. COVID. COVID nineteen. You know, speaking of which, I just see. I, I remember I saw this like uh, this one post on Reddit. Uh, this one, this one black cop was like, uh, was, like sitting outside, uh, like leaning against her car. She was like holding up a fist like that, like, supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and all that. And then I just see people like start swarming to her, trying to give her hugs and shit like that. And I'm just thinking, like, does Corona not exist? Does Corona does not exist in your country anymore? Is that is that not a thing? It's just about priority, dude. Like, which is more important, Black Lives or all like lives? I think black spreading like, an pandemic <laughs> is more important. 
at the current like point in time. Yeah, know? but I don't know. It's it's a, it's it's a, it's weird, isn't it? It's so weird. People just stop believing in the coronavirus when. I, I mean, know. at least they're still like mask and sit like barely at least. I can't fucking what discard. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, what mic did you get? Anyway, that's a really nice sounding mic. Hold up. Uh, Behringer C1U. Behringer? Oh my God. It's, it's actually the cheaper than I wanted to get a fee fine, like the Chinese one. How do you spell Behringer? B E H. Okay, Behringer what? Uh, C1U. What? Uh, hold on. Let me try to disconnect. Goddamn. I don't know if we haven't talked for two years. Is that? I don't know if that's the exact figure. But I, I, don't I think so. I think it it's is. It's only been a year since school ended, dude. Yeah. yeah. We haven't had like an actual proper conversation. Like I think I guess I guess a year. I think it's more than a year. Maybe like slightly more than a year. Yeah, slightly more than a year. You know, slightly more than a year. Like how fucked up is that? It's not that fucked up. You know? It's yeah. it's it's fucking society, bro. <laughs> society, <laughs> what? Society, bro. Have yeah. you watched it? Have you... Society. All, like you know, behind us, not talking to one another. Have you watched the Joker, dude? Dude, it's society, dude. Shut the fuck up. Oh fuck. Yo, are you? Sure. I man, yeah. society, man. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> man. Society, man. What was I talking about? Isn't that what society? What was my point? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's society, man. There we go. Hey, how you doing? I've been. I've Yo, been... if I can get this, I... it's because oh. it's because OBS been using my shit. Uh, are you? Can you see me? You're going, yeah. dude. God damn. Hey, there we go. Four you're step. like a you're like a more deranged man now <laughs> than even before. Yeah, my head is like. I really want to go bald. Can we talk I about? Do. All right, let's end end the thing by talking about baldness. Is that that's let, let's make that our final topic, and let's bag it up. Look at Ayub, he's bald. Like I think, like being bald, dude, is so convenient, right? Are you? Things I'm not bald. <laughs> you are bald. Believe it or not. I mean, you have no, hair, you're but but you're bald. Like being bald is not like skinhead, you know. I want I want to like shave all the hair off and then just be shiny, like reflect Jesus' face off my head. Yeah, that's that kind of... that's skinhead, <laughs> basically. I'm I talking. I can't do that. I, okay, I, I, I was about to say I want to be a skinhead. Mm. <laughs> no, no. Wait, what? Wait, what? What skinhead actually? Isn't it? It's something. Skinhead is like, like a Nazi or some sort. Of oh, I thought, thought like, it was yeah, just like I thought it was just a hairstyle. <laughs> I thought I genuinely thought it was just a hairstyle. I mean, it's it's like you know, the the word's been appropriated at this point. Like yes. you know, how like the word bitch used to be like referred to like female dogs, and that was just an insult to people. You know, yeah. Skinheads, so. just like yeah. the n word. Uh, but <laughs> uh, being bald is so much convenient, dude. You know, in that right, are you? Are you wearing AirPods? Holy fuck! Yeah. That's how you know it's Bro. been so long. That's how you know it's been it's two been... years. Cause bastards wearing AirPods. Look at him. Damn. For the fire, but oof. <laughs> this is like, the are those actually legitimate AirPods? Or Probably. Like the, like, they they, they don't get... In America, dude, everything's Apple. What? Even the fake... I just uh, like my bad. Even the fake ones. Yeah, but let me let me give my, my take on being bald, right? Like, you yeah. save so much being bald on different levels. First of all, you have the economic save. You're going to be using less shampoo, you know? You're going to be using... You don't use shampoo. What? You don't use you shampoo. You don't have air to like, wash. Yeah, that's the thing. You save money by being involved because you don't need shampoo. You use less you don't water. Need you don't need a haircut. And also, here's the thing. When you towel, like after you shower, guess where a lot of the water comes from? It your comes... head. Your hair. Your hair, because your hair is like a freaking, so... So... you know, like sponge. Like mm -hmm. you also that means that means you have like more towel longevity, which means you gotta wash your towel less. You get me? You're right. That's the next step in human evolution, dude. 
That's my point. That's my point. Yeah, being bald is the next step in human evolution. That's been lagging for me. I just heard the ending. What what what, what you heard? Um, talking about water on your head and how you need to wash your towel less. God, yeah. I hope I hope this microphone is still available, dude. Oh my god, it's it's yes. fucking Auto Technica AT twenty twenty, dude. God damn. So you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys haven't seen that first video podcast the annual video podcast but no i have not i went on about how to run a podcast and Mm -hmm. i'm basically like not obeying any of the shit i said (laughs) because because my point was uh you want to have like complete show notes it's really important for you to formulate your thoughts properly it's really important for you to know what you're going to say and shit but hey but hey you live and learn are you real? What you doing? Are you? Switching <laughs> oh, I was typing. You guys are so disconjoint, man. What? I, I, Jinren is looking at a mic. Are you was wiping his fucking phone? What? What you doing, dude? Um, I know I was typing something. Gotta do some Islamic thing. Are you such a like an inspirational figure, personally? Bro, I am, right? Cause, Yo, cause here's the thing. He he's a person who don't give a shit. You yeah. know. Like, I don't give a shit, but he doesn't give a shit, you know? <laughs> he takes it to the extreme. Like, he don't give a shit if he's finished his foundation. He's just gonna bounce, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, bro, I had, like, so many classes I had to retake. But you didn't. <laughs> but you didn't, yeah, you just fucking bounced. I didn't take him. Like you, I didn't. Wait, wait, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't retake? He didn't graduate from the freaking nope. uni. He didn't get his. He didn't... Uh... Yeah, he did. Oh my god! That's what I'm saying. Ayub doesn't give a shit, dude. Wait, 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 wait. It was a waste of time. Yeah, it was literally. I um, mean, actually... hey, hey, now let's not call it a waste of time. Look at, look at us now. You're, you're, if yeah, yeah. But what, what oh, are you doing now? Then? I don't know. Um, actually, I'm doing a computer science course. He's doing your mom, Jinren. Oh, got him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like degree or foundation? No, I'm actually doing a computer science. Well, you doing degree or foundation? <laughs> I think he's doing like a diploma. Uh, I don't know. We don't. <laughs> we don't do that. You don't know. That's what I'm um, talking about, dude. He I'm doesn't give a my... shit. That's what I'm talking about. He doesn't no. give a shit, dude. I'll, and that's I'll so. My, that, I wish. I wish I had a like carefree. That is so inspirational to me because I'm. I look up to him that way. Like he. I mean, obviously, I don't want to get too extreme like him, but I want to <laughs> learn from that. You know, you just. Oh, Way, go all the way, man. Cause, 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 in life, sometimes you That's just care too much. You just care too much. With computer science, um, you can actually get a job real quick after you're done. Cause I'm, I'm done in like a year-ish, like around a year, maybe less than a year, with my course. Cause it's a two-year course, and you can actually like start working right after it, while going to school. Yeah. But how's it? Uh, how's it going right now? Like, how's your grades and shit? Oh, they're all right, dude. Real good. I was expecting you to say, like, I don't know, man. I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. I was generally expecting you to say, like, I, I don't know. know. You know, I have to take back, like, all the inspirational thing I told about you. What are your guys' thoughts on, like, our foundation, like, the year we did together? That's lit, dude. God. Yeah, I got so much pussy that year. <laughs> it's a lie, bro. Remember that one? <laughs> Where's she at now, man? What, what? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Dash had a crush on a chick, right? Yo, 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 let's not talk about that shit right now, bro. No, no, not... This is the Junior, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing right now? I'm doing advertising. Agriculture? Advertising. <laughs> I know what you saying. Fuck off. I'm looking at the rice here, motherfucker. <laughs> Get the rice, get the two pound of rice, we'll get the money to feed my family. A- agriculture? <laughs> You're doing agriculture? Yeah, I'm doing agriculture. Man. Got the, you go to the rice paddy field, you know? No, but, but Jen, I want to be a farmer, bro. I want to grow some shit. I want to eat that shit. Go to New Zealand. Place to be a farmer. But, uh,. I don't know. I, my, I don't know what my course is really about. I have, like it's okay. So I have one of the books like uh, history of media. Let's talk about the, the 
horses of media and like stuff and like it's kind of it's kind of history and meat and like the history it's 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 pretty self-explanatory the history of media and then there's uh oh, fuck it. introduction to advertising introduction to mass communication introduction to media studies all those three are taught by the same lecturer and they're all kind of bullshit I don't know, in the class kind of it's kind of zone out most of the time um yeah, photography. Photography is pretty cool. I've taken some like pretty cool pictures because of uh, photography. What else? What else have I done? What have else? you posted? Have you posted those photos? I posted one in Instagram. Was, I'll, uh, I'll probably one. put it in the editing. Like this, one, this 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 ghost boy little thing. Oh shit! I saw that photo. I thought I didn't know this photography thing. I thought, it was just, yeah. I thought you were just sharing. No, I took I took some bunch of pictures. I... Um, what else is in my course? Kubugan Ethnic. Oh, I have that. Like, I had that. Yeah, it's actually something which I can't be fucked to give a fuck about. V, I, I had to do a video for that shit. It do video? Because huh? my... We, that sh- yeah? We don't have a video. That I mean, yeah, because that's, like, that's more like my lecturer thing. He likes to fucking shove videos down our throat. Video assignments. We had to make a I video like on, video. on like, uh, independence, like Malaysian independence and how far we've come and all that bullshit. I, 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 I read... Assignment in like I think you've that. seen that video. Have you? Have I? Oh uh, yeah, it's the Hang Tua one that we did. Oh, that's oh, that's a oh, okay. Yeah, that shit uh, was for the assignment. I mean, we had really? fun. We learned a lot in that fucking shit. I I learned a lot. I don't know why. I, yeah, it's a lot of times I learned a lot from like law of this assignments. Like I hate. Don't get me wrong. I hate them, but I learned a lot from it. You know. Yeah. So I, but should I really say thanks to the lecturer? No, because I hated it. Even though I learned a bit. I hate, still hated it. Are you? Come on, chime in. How's your How's your life doing? How's yeah. your sex life? Um, non-existent. Hey, don't, don't give me that bullshit, man. I know you fuck people all the time. You live in fucking no. the non-United States of America. You think I would, right? I I I thought I would, but like, <laughs> I thought I would too. It turned out real different. <laughs> yeah, you you. I'd like to look for- you're, you're in computer science so yeah, yeah. all right let's try to wrap up Is the podcast like and then we'll try to continue talking like afterwards let's just wrap it up the recording um this has been the annual racism podcast <laughs> that's it i don't want to say more because fucking hell we're gonna i'm probably not gonna share this probably because i'm afraid I hope no. Yeah, I probably don't need to post this. Out. Let's just you do. Let's just have this as like a training. Let's try. Yeah, to, yeah. Let's try to make something with like more conjoint. But I'm I'm definitely gonna call this the annual racism podcast. Cause fuck it, dude. Cause are you this year? What's nice is that we have diversity here. Like confusingly. Confusingly. Confusingly, what? you don't see this shit all the time for some reason. What one race. Oh, uh, also dude this, oh yeah before we end the annual racism podcast there's a last thing I want to bring up if you google like number of human races it's it's not that clear like I mean I guess it's fine but then in Wikipedia like the latest one doesn't even include Indians or some shit which you know I'm personally offended number of human races on earth right mm-hmm. somehow Indians okay aren't... that's that's only four uh there's some i mean obviously there's uh different philosophies and shit some thinkers mm-hmm. categorize human to only four distinct races typically white black co- uh white or caucasian black or african yellow or asian red or native american yeah i guess fuck the indians dude <laughs> and downplay any biological phenotypical distinctions within racial groups such as those between scandinavians and spaniards I feel like scientifically speaking, we need a kind of racial distinction just for the sake of uh, data, you know, just for the sake of archival, not not what? for anything else, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, where's my where's my OBS? Yeah, it's definitely recording the desktop. But I think it's zoomed in. Ah, oh, fuck me. Yeah, it's super zoomed in. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, but yeah, let's end it. It's disconjoint. There's only four races. Uh, Indian people are not a race of humans, apparently. And uh, they're not. And thanks for watching the annual racism podcast, folks. Uh, I'm going to stop recording.